Hello and welcome to this video on how to optimize a YouTube video for search. My name is Mark Hughes from Funky Social Media. Now I came across a post in a forum from my friend Paul Rogers from Bottomly and Co who has now embraced the world of video marketing for, the, for, for his business. Um, they are insolvency practitioners and uh, are looking to use video to drive more traffic to their website and therefore build more leads and with a bit of effective sales converting, uh, convert those uh, leads into sales. Now um, I did notice that uh, the YouTube video is up on YouTube which is great but it hasn't got many views and I picked up a, a couple of areas that could be tweaked so with Paul's permission uh, I'm going to do a quick video critique and uh, bear with me I'll try to keep the video as short as possible but let's uh, let's crack on and let me show you exactly where things can be changed and how you can use this to do your video marketing on YouTube from now on okay let's first of all go on to uh, Paul's uh, YouTube channel and as you can see uh, before <coughs> excuse me before your very eyes is the video that Paul has uh, had created hello my That's name Paul is Paul himself um, yeah so anyway so first thing that stands um, stands out for me is that yes uh, Paul has got his uh, company name in there um, and it's a dot it's obviously been shot in movie maker um, but I would say that that is absolutely not necessary to have next to the name because for one people are not going to be searching first of all hardly unlikely that they'll search for bottomly and co dot mov they're more than likely going to search for uh, financial help debt management uh, insolvency practitioners um, etc etc and I would even go as far as to say debt management tips uh, in the UK or in Surrey or London etc so if you're a local business I would even be you know taken taken on board to actually put in things like uh, debt management tips or debt management info or insolvency practitioner info uh, in London or in the UK that makes it a little bit more area specific as far as the video goes it's very professional um, as far as I can remember there is a uh, call to action right at the end or at least uh, some ideas let me just find it okay so right at the end Paul's done a good thing and there is some contact numbers now that is great because if people want to contact Paul or Bottomley & Co they can get in contact via the website um, or the telephone numbers and that's great Very that ticks all the boxes for me um, where, where I find that uh, yeah, bottom line code may struggle to get more than just uh, these couple of views is the fact that one um, they have not got any decent categ categories fine but they haven't got any decent tags there's bankruptcy and liquidation which is great so people go and type in here at the top in the search bar bankruptcy or liquidation they're going to find a whole lot of videos but what you have to remember that for Bottomly & Co to rise up in the search for liquidation or bankruptcy they would need to have more views which we see here and um, that's that's basically how YouTube rewards just like Google with your optimization if you're getting traffic you're getting more views you're going to get bumped up in the search here on YouTube with more views and higher up in the search engine it stands to reason that you're going to get more people contacting you as a company and therefore the opportunity to possibly do more business and increase some sales um, now I want to just give an example of a not necessarily a competitor but somebody in the same game that have ticked a lot more boxes and uh, that you can draw some reserves from here and some ideas um, first of all as you can see their title is the actual website address that uh, people can go to in order to read more about more up about this company that's all great um, they've got a lady um, talking about all the different services that they offer and that's fine but what you'll notice here is they've got uh, you know, at the time of this video 888 views now this is largely to do with the fact that if you have a look down if you just ex click this little arrow that says show more that'll expand the whole uh, the, the whole description now the whole description here is great they've gone into a lot of detail uh, you know 
me personally, I think it's probably a little bit more detail than is necessary. But what they have done is they've included a telephone number here. They've got a call to action, call today and we act. Um, and then further down, as we scroll down, the telephone number's in again. And then they've put their different uh, website addresses in here. But what you will notice is their category is different to Paul's at Bottomly & Co. Paul had, uh, I think, people and blogs. These guys have got news and politics. The category is not that important. Um, you know, it depends on what the t tone and the content of the video is as to what category you choose. But what they have done is really optimized up here in their tags for search reasons. So they have absolutely included everything that's related in the way of a tag or what we kind of commonly refer to them as keywords in everything that is related to what services these people can offer. So they can help you with bankruptcy, they can help with debt management, uh, business restructuring, refinancing, winding up, etc, etc. And this sole reason here, three factors, this, the tags, the heading, which I think that they probably missed the boat here a little bit more and pr probably even double or triple their views by just putting in some um, good quality keywords here. Um, they've, they've ticked quite a few of the boxes. The one thing that they are missing, and which is vitally important, is that they're relying, just like Paul at Bottomly & Co., that people at the end of the video will see the telephone number and automatically um, make a phone call to, to the business. However, that's not strictly true. People would still like to click through and check out what the website is. So in other words, here's Bottomly & Co's uh, website. They would like to be able to click, uh, excuse me, from the video and then go and maybe possibly do a little bit more research and find some more info uh, about Bottomly & Co to see whether what they are offering is highly relevant to what they've been searching for on YouTube. Now the way you get around this is to simply go in to, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll just quickly log into my YouTube account and then I can show you exactly what I mean. Welcome to the website of... Just pause that, just bear with me a sec. Just want to sign out of that one and just, I've got a, bear with me a sec, I've got a various uh, number of YouTube channels. Um, just want to quickly sign into one and then I'll give you a quick demonstration on what it means to actually insert. The link into the description. All these little pop up screens, bear with me a sec. Okay, so let's go into Let's just go into one of my videos here. Let's go into my videos and let's just pick one out here. That's uh, um, okay. Let's uh, show this one that I'm on LinkedIn. So just pause. Hello and welcome to the just LinkedIn profile page. Of pause that a sec. Okay, what you'll notice here is that when I expand, the very first thing that I've got in my description bar is my link to the destination page. So in this case, it's to my LinkedIn channel or my LinkedIn profile. Um, in the case of Bottomly & Co, this would need to be this uh, domain name here or possibly even through to a subpage, Liquidations or RVA or even the products and services. You grab that link, copy and paste it and what you do is you then insert it right at the beginning of your description and then you can go on to add a little bit more to your description um, and you know, put a clear call to action that if people want to contact you put in a telephone number uh, but more importantly is that people can now click on that link it's going to take you through to your destination page or website in which case mine is my LinkedIn profile and they can now read up more because people are not going to make a decision based on um, a quick view of a video. They will want to do more research. It is human buyer behavior um, and uh, after they've done their research they can then possibly even bookmark your page, um, come back to it later or if necessary you tick all the boxes for them they then have the option to call you and to do business with you. 
So once again, just a quick recap, sorry for the length of this video, but get some keywords and uh, some localization into your, um, into your video title. Make sure that your video link is right in the front and then you can do your, um, you know, do your bits of uh, extra writing and description, put a telephone number in if you feel that's the case. And then lastly, let's make sure that you get all relevant tags or keywords into your into your tag section and all you would do is simply to do that um, just want to quickly sign me out again for some reason which is really frustrating there we go I'm back again so to, to actually sort out um, the, the tags and keywords you would go down here you would go into my videos click on the actual video that you want to uh, edit and then click on edit info and then you will see over here that it's got your video title your description where you can put in and please do add in the HTTP um, colon forward slash forward slash um, and and then then your link and I'll even put in the www um, just to make sure because some some people's browsers operate a different way and you know if you don't put in the www it might time out or they might not get to the destination that you're trying to send them to and right down here is a category um, but more importantly right here is where you're going to add all your tags or your keywords separate them with a comma um, I know YouTube automatically um, converts them to in quotes but just separate with them comma then once you're done with that um, you can go down to the bottom here, hit the save changes button and uh, hey presto, you're away. Um, thank you very much. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Um, please uh, you know, use this info to go in and optimize your videos for search and uh, I hope all things being equal that you get a load more views to your channel. Obviously use any other forms of promotion, i.e. your Facebook, your Twitter, uh, possibly your blog or even an email out to your database to say that you've posted a video or a new video to your YouTube channel. Send them the, give them the link that they can click on to the YouTube channel and that is obviously going to bring you more views too and with a bit of luck will bump up your video in the search, um, in the YouTube search um, engine. Thank you very much. My name's Mark Hughes, Funky Social Media and I'll chat to you soon. Bye now.